I call this my doctor bag. It's quite comical, really. One of my mom's old bags from the 80s became my piano tuning bag. Inside rests yet more antiquities from the piano technician I apprenticed years ago. She gave me her old and outdated supplies for me to use to learn the art of piano tuning. I'm not a professional piano technician. This is just one of those random skills I picked up along my journey that may have a practical use someday, but for now it's rewarding tuning my own piano. The first step to piano tuning is taking the front part off, the panel of wood encasing the chest of the piano. There are three sections of the piano, the bass, middle, and treble. The middle section is used the most and has a different way to tune it than the bass and the treble. What I'm inserting here is called a piano tuning wool temperament felt strip. Each key on the keyboard has three strings that make up the note. Inserting it this way makes the two outer strings of the note muted so I can tune the center strings to the temperament. The temperament is like a guideline to tune the notes to. All the center strings will flow well using a temperament based on how the vibrations sound when played together. On my sheet, I have different intervals that are supposed to sound a certain way. Fairly pure means that when the two notes are played together, they will resonate almost exactly, meaning the two sound waves will flow together. A roll is what contiguous thirds make, which means they will sound like they are vibrating against each other a bit. I am tuning my piano to A4 at 432 Hz. The global standard is 440 Hz, though there is much conspiracy about this frequency being disharmonious to humans and nature, causing dissonance within. You can be the investigator on this one, however, I know that the human heart resonates at 432 hertz, and I want my music to be a match to that. The magic starts when I begin tuning. Tuning A4 and then adding on the thirds is the doorway into the sound dimension where form doesn't exist, just waves and frequencies. I feel satisfaction matching wavering vibrations to one in unison. This concept can be brought to our daily lives, too. Everything around us vibrates to a different frequency. None good or bad, they just are. We become like the tuning hammer, tuning the pegs of our lives to different frequencies as we try out all that is around us. If it doesn't resonate, we can just adjust like so, and then let the rest go. After tuning with the temperament and the electric tuner, it's all up to my ears to tune the rest of the piano. I begin by pulling out the felt strip and begin matching frequencies together, each note needing three strings matching in unison. Once I finish with the center portion, I'm off to the bass section. As the tones get lower, it is harder for my ears to tell the difference between whether it is in tune or not. I begin to hear overtones, which are sounds that appear to be higher up on the keyboard, but they are actually just a part of the low tone. The same sort of thing happens in the treble part of the piano where the sounds and the frequencies become too high for my ears to he hear, so I just 
do my best and I tune as high as I can go. I can adjust the tension of the strings with the tuning hammer by either pulling down or pushing up. Pushing up will loosen the string, making it lower, and pulling it down will make the string higher. This can get a bit tricky, so I just do my best and hope the strings don't move around too much after I place them in tune. Every piano technician has a song that they play when they finish tuning a piano. This is my song. It's called The Maple Leaf Rag by Scott Joplin, one of my favorite ragtimes of all to play. song as difficult as that one is to hear all of the strings and to see how they interact with each other and I ask myself questions like do these sounds match up is the piano actually in tune and does it sound good with the combination of all the notes once I determine that I'm finished I start packing up my stuff and putting away the piano putting it together as it was when I started Since this piano was exceptionally dirty, when I came to this house, I decided that I wanted to sage the piano and to put a rose quartz inside of it to put extra good vibes into the music that I create. Thank you so much for watching this little video of my little piano tuning ritual. If you liked the video, like it and subscribe to my channel for more interesting content like this. Before I go, I wanted to play you one more song. It is called Claire de Lune by WC. I hope you have a beautiful and healing day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!